Stacy Brooks here over at the Carl Vinson VA Medical Center, joined by a very special guest. Most of you already know her, uh, Miss June Moore from over at Citizens Bank. Uh, Miss Moore, tell us a little bit about what's going on over beside us and what we're going to be doing today. This is our 14th year with our students program, and this is the second time we have attended the VA hospital, and this is their project. They chose it. Each year, the, the group selects a project, and we have 30 students this year. And what we're doing is going to two wards and taking gifts to the veterans. And we have done all types of projects in the years past. We painted a, a Habitat house one year. We, we painted puppy stalls at the um, Humane Society and worked at Main Street Munches one year just a great group of young people and we have 30 in our class from Dublin, West Lawrence, East Lawrence and Trinity seniors from all four high schools. Wow. So now tell us a little bit about this program. We know uh, Citizens Bank uh, students, are they nominated by someone and go through a process? I know this is, this is a, pretty, a pretty big honor for these students to be selected for your student board. How exactly does that, that process work? Well, we begin in January taking applications to the four schools and we give them out to the counselors and they in turn ask the students that they would like to apply. We have an application process and they're required to have uh, recommendations from two faculty members, board members or superintendent and then they fill out the uh, long form. Then we have an interview which is a short interview, and they're not inside the bank. We ask, get outsiders to come in and do that. And then we select, we had 50 something applicants and we, it was very difficult to narrow down to 30. We like a group of 24 to 30, but we just couldn't get less than 30 this year. So that means you had a great applicant pool this year. We did, it was wonderful. And this is just the cream of the crop of uh, school students and and we call them students today and leaders tomorrow awesome because this is teaching them leaders leadership skills that are going to follow them so a great program and of course we always love giving back to our veterans here in dublin lawrence county appreciate the work you're doing i'm excited to get to see um, your students here give out some gifts in just a little bit again thank you and especially uh, to citizens bank for what you guys are doing joined now by mr jay deworth thank you for taking a few Welcome. minutes out of your time you're the um, assistant director here for carl vinson va medical right. center can you tell us a little bit about exactly what it means um, mm -hmm. for you guys as well as our veterans today that these students are coming out okay well um, we really appreciate the students coming out um, it's a great opportunity to interact with the veterans um, that live here we have about 200 veterans who actually live on campus this is their home and uh, some of them don't have a lot of uh, visitors especially during the holidays so this really means a lot to our veterans and it means a lot to us for the community to come out here and support us by visiting the veterans and having some uh, Christmas presents and, and, and cards for them because sometimes I want to remind um, those those of our viewers that sometimes not all veterans have a lot of family here who are able right. to visit and give gifts and that kind of thing. Right. And, and uh, of course, uh, most of the veterans are older and most of our employees are a little bit older. So it's really nice to have young people come in and, and see what we do here at the VA and to, to visit with the veterans because they, they like young people. And um, uh, and it's a good opportunity for the 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 students to see what it's like in, in healthcare, and so um, we have volunteer programs. So if, if there's some of the students are interested in volunteering, to seeing what it's like to be a recreation therapist, to be a nurse, to be a doctor, um, we're, we we like to have them come and join our volunteer program. So that's awesome. I heard you just a little bit ago talking actually with the students. So this is a great place um, for those high school juniors and seniors when they're trying to make up their mind for sure mm -hmm. what degree they might want to pursue. They can actually come out and volunteer with you guys to see exactly what that career is like. Exactly. So one of the one of the four missions of the VA um, besides healthcare is to provide academic training and education in healthcare. So um, if if there are students out there who are interested, you know, come volunteer us. We can we can show you what those programs are. Awesome. Well, we appreciate it. Appreciate the jobs that you guys do here. I always want to remember to support our veterans. Appreciate mm -hmm. you for taking just a few minutes with right. us. Happy holidays. 
joined now by Mr. Jeff Cannon, of course, thanking you guys over at Citizens Bank for all that you do. You, you give back to the community in so many ways. Can you tell us a little bit about what this event really means for the student board and, and Citizens Bank in general? Well, it's just a, it's a great event because it's we're, we're fortunate that the kids, like I don't know if June told you, we let them pick the event they want to do. And this was their project and they picked this and I think it's the second or third time we've done this and it's turned out just really well because it's rewarding for them because they get to see um, and show respect to the guys and women that have actually served this country. Plus also they get to find out what an economic engine this facility is for our community. Right, so uh, the VA Medical Center here definitely, we, we depend on it greatly. Uh, Hugh, it's the, uh, this has been, you know, the, this is one, one of the biggest employers in the community. I actually worked out here when I was in college during the summers, so I'm very familiar with the facility, but it's changed so much in the last 40 years. And it's, it's forever growing. We see new growth coming out, out front. Of course, of course, Middle Georgia State College University right. utilizing some of the campus as well. So it's a great facility. Uh, tell us a little bit about this particular group of students you have this year. We, learned, we heard just a few moments ago it was really hard to narrow down the list of applicants. We have some amazing students here in Dublin Lawrence County. We do. When you deal with the, the, the students that we deal with every year, it gives you a lot of faith. And the, the, the youth of, the, of tomorrow that we hear about, you know, but these kids are really good. They've um, they they work hard. They're they're great at paying attention with what we're presenting. We try to give them a variety of programs that enlighten them about this community, about the state, and they've just they're soaking it up like sponges. They're just really good. And you know we're seeing more and more youth who go off for college and who are coming back to Dublin Lawrence County. And I kind of would like to believe it's because of programs like this that they're really getting involved. They're seeing that Dublin is definitely growing, and and they're coming back to work here. And even we have some coming from all over to retire here. Right. It's uh, I'm actually uh, chairman of the chamber this year also, so that's one of our big uh, thrust is trying to enlighten the community about what there is here. And, you know, in, in our program, we let the kids know, you know, there's opportunities here and the Chamber of the Development Authority are working hard to get more opportunities to come here. Well, we definitely appreciate all that you're doing. I know our viewers appreciate it and just thank you for continuing this. It's definitely a great project, a great event, and I can't wait to see more. Welcome back. Joined here again today, Dublin VA Medical Center here with the student board from Citizens Bank. Got some special guests here with me. Tell me who you are. My name is Sydney Stevens. My, I'm the daughter of Brad and Melissa Stevens. I go to Trinity Christian School and I dance and am on the swim team. All right. I'm Chris Young. Uh, I'm the son of Fred and Susan Young and I go to Trinity Christian School and I play football and wrestle. So I understand you're both seniors, is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so uh, is this your first big event this year with the student board? Yes, ma'am. This is our annual service project. And so you guys actually got to choose what project. Were you excited to be able to come and give back to the veterans who have given so much? Yes, ma'am. They fought for our country and so love giving back. Yes, ma'am. So that's awesome. We have some great students, still have more to come. Thank you guys for coming out and joining us. They're ready to go out and give out some presents and we're ready to go follow them. Merry Christmas from everyone at Century 21 Durden Cornegay Realtor. Jody Tanner, Jim Jarrett, Pam Tillery, David Deves, Beverly Forbes, Ann Adams, Raina Dubberly, Benny Helton, Charlene Brantley, Ruth Watson, Jay Brantley, Charlene Lamb, Yvonne Robertson, Karen Whitmer, and broker George Dirt. Merry Christmas from the Realty Company with the best home sales in Dublin and the surrounding area again in 2016. Log on to c21dublin.com today. Choose the convenience of Neighbors Express and get friendly, courteous service every time you visit any of our convenient locations. Fill up with pay at the pump and take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. And buy 12 packs of Pepsi products, two for $6.99. Enjoy the popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. Also enjoy a fresh hot breakfast. Stop by for lunch or dinner. It's always fresh, always convenient at Neighbors Express. Now located at I-16 and 441 and in Cedar Grove, providing farm fuel for all our customers. Count on the convenience of Neighbors Express. Have some more very special guests here with us. And we've got Brandon and JB. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Brandon Bruton. I'm a senior at West Lawrence High School. My parents are Jeff and Lori Bruton. 
I play baseball and I'm very active in a bunch of clubs at the school. Okay. My name is JB Gay. I'm the son of Bent Amy Gay. I go to Trinity Christian School and uh, I play basketball. So this is a great event. You guys are coming together to give back to the veterans. What exactly have you enjoyed your time here on the student board? Oh yes, man. We're loving being in Citizens Bank and we're going to Atlanta next month to have another big outing. Okay, so lots of extracurricular activities here. What about you? What do you think about being here and giving back to the community? What do veterans really mean to you? Uh, well, they're really special because they've done a lot for us. And, um, you know, no one really appreciates them the way they need to be appreciated. And uh, so I'm just happy to be able to be here and uh, give back a little bit. So you guys are ready to go play Santa, right? Oh, so we're not going to keep you. We're going to let I'm you. I'm an elf, actually. Elf. Oh, you're an yes, elf. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to get to see you play Santa and the elves. Got lots of elves running around here right now. Thank you for taking just a minute to talk with us. Got some very special students surrounded by greatness today. About 30 students here at the Carl Vinson VA. Got Katie here. Katie, thank you for taking just a moment of your time with us. Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Katie Bell Barassa. My parents are Scott and Joni Barassa, and I am part of the Beta Club at school. Trinity Christian School and I volunteer at the Joy Clinic. So the Joy Clinic, that's an awesome place of course for those of you who don't know, that's part of um, an outreach ministry. So you're very involved in believing, giving back, right? Yes ma'am. So tell us a little bit about when you guys were talking about an event that you really wanted to do, was it kind of a joint thing? You really wanted to do the VA? Was there a consensus that they're so, we're so grateful to our veterans here and in our community? How did that kind of come about? It was a joint idea. We all thought it was a good idea, so we went with that one. Yeah. All right, well, I know that you guys are, um, are ready and excited to go give out some Christmas gifts and ready to meet some veterans, and I know how, um, how greatly they'll appreciate it. Mm -hmm. They love seeing young people. They love seeing the smiles. So we just thank you guys for taking of your time. I know that senior schedules are crazy and hectic, so thank you guys for taking time to do this for our veterans today. Welcome back here at Carl Vinson VA, of course, here with the Citizens Bank Student Board. I've got Lindsay and Lauren. Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and what exactly you're doing doing here today. Hi, I'm Lindsay Tate. My parents are Dr. Caroline and David Tate, and I'm a senior at Trinity Christian School, and I play basketball and tennis, and I'm just here at the VA today to um, just wish everybody a Merry Christmas and hand out some goodie bags. All right. My name is Lauren Evans, and I'm the daughter of Caroline Evans and Michael Evans, and I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School, and I play soccer, and I'm part of the East Lawrence High School Drama Club, and just same thing. So you guys are excited. Have you enjoyed being on the on the student board here with Citizens Bank? Yes, ma'am, we have. And I understand we've got a lot of talent here. Um, of course, we've got some athletes. We've got some drama majors or some singers, as some of us know you by. So tell me just how much it means to you to be here at the VA. Um, it's such a great opportunity to be here and to serve the people who have served us. It's just it's such a great way just to give back to our community. Well, appreciate what you guys are doing. I'm going to let you get busy. You're waiting to go in and give out some gifts, and thank you guys again for taking just a moment with us. Welcome back. Having a great day here at the Carl Vinson VA Medical Center, of course, with Citizens Bank, um, their student board. So got a couple more very special guests. Tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Mason Switzmiller. I am the daughter of Dan and Leanne Switzmiller. I am a senior at Dublin High School, and I am a football cheerleader and a soccer player. All right, so this is your first really big event with the student board, is that right? Yes, ma'am, it is. All right. Uh, my name is Lauren Metzdorf. I'm the daughter of Tim and Margie Metzdorf. I'm a senior at Dublin High School, and I play varsity softball and soccer. So one thing's for sure that I'm seeing in common with our student board, you guys are very well-rounded students. So not only are you great in the classroom, you're great out of the classroom. Do you think the things that you're learning through the student board, such as giving back, are helping you, equipping you with some leadership skills? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. So we appreciate you taking just a moment. Going to let you go give out some, some gifts. We've got some elves and things running around. I know that these veterans are looking forward to seeing you guys. Thank you for joining us. Okay. All right. I have Hannah and Audrey with me now. They're going to tell our viewers a little bit about themselves and what they're doing today. Well, my name is Hannah Allison. I'm the daughter of Harry Allison and Teresa Robinson, and both of them have served in the military. So it's very special then for you to be here. You know what that's like coming from a military family. Yes, ma'am. So, um, of course, 
always appreciate anyone who gives back to our veterans here. We should appreciate them every day, not just certain days. So do appreciate, as we said earlier in the show, the student board chose to do this project, which makes it very special. Now tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Audrey Charles. I am a senior at Dublin High School. My mother's name is Felicia Charles and my dad's name is Alvin Brantley. I am a dance student and a dance teacher at Dance Art Studio. Oh, wow. So you heard um, Mr. DeWorth earlier talking about if anyone was interested in going into any of the professions here, you can come and volunteer. Do either of you girls already know maybe what your major is going to be? Well, actually, I'll be enlisting in the Marine Corps when I graduate high school. Awesome. That's amazing. So appreciate you doing that. Our country thanks you, our folks here, and definitely want to hear back from you. You come see me when you get back from passing that basic training. What about you? Well, I want to major in secondary education, and I want to minor in psychology. Oh, wow. That's a double whammy <laughs> career. That's awesome. <laughs> so appreciate that. We definitely need, we need our military. We need our teachers. So appreciate what you guys are doing. I'm going to let you get to it. These veterans are waiting for these gifts. Thank you for taking just a moment with us. Thanks again for joining us. Got a couple more great students here. We've got Will and Bryce. They're going to tell you a little bit about their sales. They just came from giving out some gifts. Going to let them tell you a little bit about that. Uh, hey, my name is Will Clardy. Uh, I'm a senior at Trinity Christian School. Uh, my parents are Rick and Wendy Clardy. Uh, my dad works here at the VA. Uh, he loves serving the veterans, and I'm having a fun time being out here today. Uh, it's great to give back. I have uh, elderly grandparents, aunts and uncles. I know it's a joy for them to see people, uh, especially around the holidays. All these people do not have uh, family coming to see them. So I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to come and give them gifts and uh, spread joy of Christmas for everybody. I'm Bryce Robinson, and I'm a senior at East Lawrence High School. My parents are Chris and Kristen Robinson, and uh, it's been really a joy to come out here and see these people at the VA. Um, the man that we went and got to talk to, he was really excited to get the gift that we gave him, and it was just really touching to see that. So, because sometimes we do forget um, that they don't have a lot of family, a lot of the men and women here. So some of them do, but some of them don't. So I know that they appreciated it very much. Appreciate you guys taking out. I know it's a, you have a busy schedule. You're seniors in high school. Things are a little chaotic. Do either of you already know what your major is going to be? Anybody going in the medical field? No, ma'am. I think about going into, uh, I haven't decided, actually. That's okay. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something, but I have no idea. <laughs> You're good. You're good. All right, Bryce, what about you? I think I actually do want to go pre-medical and um, hopefully go into pediatrics. Oh, wow. So you could come back and be our next future pediatrician here in Dublin, Lawrence County. Yeah. Well, just don't forget us, us people here when you come back. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you guys for coming and bringing a little bit of Christmas cheer to our veterans here today. Thanks again for joining us for Dublin today. Appreciate Citizens Bank and our student board for coming out. It has definitely been a great day in Dublin today. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas!